Oh, yeah, we're off to Uruguay today. New country. That's actually pretty exciting. It's been a little while since we posted a video from our South America series. So let's catch up. In our last episode, we still weren't feeling great when we left Iguazu Falls for Sao Paulo. And with only a very short amount of time, we had to try and visit two restaurants on the 50 best list before leaving Brazil, Casa de Porco and Alex Atari's iconic Dom. And in this episode, we're heading to Uruguay, which is perhaps our favorite country in all of South America. It was only about a three hour flight from Sao Paulo to Montevideo. And before we knew it, we had cleared customs and we were into a new country. We're in the airport. Yeah, I mean, we haven't made it out of the airport, but pretty happy with how efficient things are around here. Nice. As usual, when we visit new countries, we didn't know what to expect when we arrived in Uruguay, a country of 3.7 million people, but 12 million cattle. It's said that each cattle has one full acre of land to graze. So why are we sharing facts about raising cattle in Uruguay with you? Well, in the next few days, we were to see a lot of steak on the menus at local restaurants. It's what they do best. So if you're a vegetarian, don't despair. Go for the scenery and the wine. This country has it all. We stayed at the Sofitel Montevideo, which has been recently restored back to its original magnificence from a bygone era. While it's a little bit of a drive from downtown, it was a perfect spot to explore the Carrasco neighborhood and stay in one of the most iconic buildings in Uruguay. At the Mercado del Puerto, there's a well-known restaurant that's been there for years called El Palenque, and they specialize in, you guessed it, grilled meats and seafood. Just about everywhere you go in this country, you will see an open fire grilling some meat or seafood on the perillas. The Asador was described as a wizard, so we couldn't not come here. Um, anyways, we had a beautiful fish platter and it was very nice. a bus with a few other people and headed out to the Buzo Winery here. Uh, I can't tell you, it's probably 40 minutes from Montevideo. Um, we're out in the country and it's beautiful here. This is one of the newer vineyards in the area, but they're one of the top 50 in the world already. So um, it's kind of a, a big treat to be here. It is. And we're learning more about the Tanat grape, which is we discovered in Bolivia, mm -hmm. but we really like the wines that are made from this grape, so it was pretty fun because Uruguay is known for it. It's what they do best. It's like their, it's like their national grape. Yeah, it is delicious. So yeah, yeah. pretty fun. It is. And now we're going to go try some wines. Mm -hmm. We're going to grab it to eat. Probably meat. So part of our wine experience here at the Bosa Vineyard is to have a lunch pairing. Um, so we get to try five of their wines. They're not all grown on this particular vineyard. They actually have land um, all over Uruguay. So we get to try different things. The meal was perfectly matched with the wines from the vineyard. This is definitely the place to come if you're in Montevideo and would like to do a little exploring outside of the city. actually been happily delayed at this vineyard for the very best reason I can think of. Keanu Reeves is in Montevideo <laughs> and apparently all traffic has stopped and no one can get through. Thank you Keanu. <laughs> Right, we ventured into Old Town tonight in the like kind of far west bit of Montevideo and we have heard nothing but amazing things about this restaurant called Jacinto. Um, apparently it is 
like market forward so everything is super fresh and amazing. It's helmed by celebrity chef Lucia Soria. So on our last night in the city, we decided to head there for dinner. not say enough about how awesome Uruguay is. I'm blown away. The food is incredible. Everything is it's beautiful here. Nobody knows about it. It's like super kind of inexpensive. I mean not like crazy and expensive but like very reasonable for what you're getting. Everything's like super high quality and like modern and beautiful. I don't even know. Like... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>